she put her foot in it hey guys welcome to my channel so in today's video i wanted to share with you guys my version on a seafood stew so let me first say this whenever you're doing or you making a seafood stew you can put whatever seafood you would like i chose a few items that i already had on hand but whatever you choose or whatever you want to add is perfectly fine this dish still will come out to be fabulous like this dish is so delicious y'all if you guys want to see exactly what i'm talking about just keep watching yeah so basically right now i am just getting my roux all cooked um so the ingredients that i, I use for this i'm going to leave all the ingredients y'all in the description box below i have to get used to measuring things out in order to like put my recipes or put like you know the way that i cook things out there but anyways so this roux that I'm making, I didn't use um, vegetable oil for this one. So I basically just use, I don't know if y'all can see this, but I basically just use this butter. I also use some flour. And I think I use about, I think I use about a cup of flour. This is gonna be really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead on and finish up the roux and I'll be back to you. I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes and I'll show you guys exactly what all I'm going to be putting in there. And I'm just going to do step by step and let y'all see how, you know, I cook my seafood stew. So, y'all, I wanted y'all to see exactly how my roux is coming along. The key to your roux, y'all, to a good roux, I'm telling you, you got to constantly um, stir this. You cannot leave this unattended because the minute you, like, walk away for a second, you're going to burn the roux and you're going to have to start all over. Like you just, you gonna have to. But look how different it looked from when I first showed y'all in the beginning. Y'all can see the difference. So it's getting to the color, but I want this to get a little more, like I want to get a little darker than this. So I'm gonna keep just letting it go. But I wanted y'all to see exactly like how it's looking. I finish with this, I'll come back, you know, with the next step. So y'all, these are some of the things I am going to be using in my seafood um, stew. So I have some shrimps back here. I have some Louisiana crawfish. I have some baby scallops. So basically y'all, this is just some onions right here, green bell pepper and celery. And we're gonna be using some blue crabs. So yeah. So these are the um, things I'm going to be using. So you guys can add anything you want. You can add any type of other seafood, mussels, um, snow crab. Y'all can add any type of seafood. Um, you don't just have to go, you know, with what I'm going with. Everything looks so clean and nice and ready to cook. But anyway, so yeah, so this is what I'm going to be using. And now I'm getting ready to show you guys um, the seasonings that I'm going to be using. Okay, y'all. So when I was showing y'all all the um, the things that I add, I forgot to let y'all know that um, I show y'all that I also add dry shrimp. Like I like to add dry shrimp whenever I'm using fresh shrimp because it kind of like enhance the um, shrimp flavor. So I forgot to show y'all that. So that's another thing that I use. And now I want to show y'all all the spices that I use. You definitely need Creole seasoning, y'all, for every dish then we're going to be using some cayenne pepper i'm also going to be using some poultry um seasoning just a little bit not too much of that um garlic powder onion powder parsley i'm going to add just a little bit like a half a teaspoon of um turmeric y'all i just like to add this just because of the benefits the curry powder, y'all, this has a really good flavor. I just like to use a little bit also. I like to add a little bit of sage in there. Some smoked paprika, I just add a little bit of that. Some red pepper flakes. Some Obe seasoning. Some gumbo filet. I know this is uh, this is one of the weird um, <laughs> spices that y'all gonna say, like, while I'm using it. But y'all, I'm telling you, if you just use a little bit, I'm telling you, like these flavors that this is gonna bring, I promise y'all, like you won't be disappointed. And also I like to use a little bit seafood boil. Well, crab boil. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so that's all the spices that I like to use. So y'all, I'm gonna go ahead on and add 
my um y'all look at this room look at it you can't get no better than that y'all look at that that is definitely a good room y'all you can kind of see that it's you know it's melting down already i'm gonna go ahead on oops I'm not going to add any more butter because, like, I normally would add butter, but since I already used butter in the roux, y'all, like, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to add no more to this. I'm just going to, like, saute it down just as is, and trust me, it's going to still do the same thing, even if it's, like, a dry saute, if that makes sense, but it's still going to do the same thing it would do if you add, like, your, um, you know, your oil or either your, um, your butter in it it's gonna do the same thing yeah but um basically all i'm going to be doing once it's sauteed like i said it's just go ahead on and pour it into our roux and we're going to add um some water we're going to start letting this cook and then we're going to move to the next step after that yeah so right now i'm cooking down the shrimp and the um the roux is cooking it looks really good y'all it's cooking nice and slow like i said i'm doing the shrimp the only thing that i add to the shrimp y'all i just add like a teaspoon of olive oil to um to my pan and i only add the obey seasoning some garlic powder onion powder and i think i add a little bit of the creole seasoning in the shrimp but once i cook this down y'all before i start adding everything into the um pot right now i'm just gonna finish um cooking the shrimp and then i'm gonna let y'all see exactly what i'll be doing next all right, y'all, so I add all my seasons, um, well, my, I add all my spices to the pot. So now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my dry shrimp because dry shrimp is kind of like, it's really like hard, y'all. So you definitely wanna put that in early enough to start cooking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that. And I'm gonna be adding my um, crab. So that is going to be the first thing I'm going to be adding. Let me grab my spoon. Y'all, look how good that's looking already. Look, it's not even finished. Look at that. It's going to thicken more, y'all. Let's have it on a low fire right now because, you know, I want to make sure that it cooks really slow because the longer it cooks, the better. Okay, so yeah, so that's what I got going right now. So we added our dry shrimp and we added um, the bull crabs. And so now we're gonna let um, we're gonna let this go for about I'm gonna let we're gonna let this go for about ten minutes, and then we're gonna come back and check on it. We're gonna let it go for about ten minutes, come back and check on it, and then we're gonna go ahead on and start adding our shrimp, um, the scallops, and the um, crawfish. We're gonna start adding everything, and then we're gonna just let everything simmer for like a little while or whatever. So. Once that's done, like I said, I'm going to come back and I'm going to let y'all see how I'm adding everything else. And yeah, that's going to be it for that. So I'll be back. In so y'all, so I did turn up the uh, heat to high heat um, just to get everything going. So, and also I added a bay leaf up in there, y'all, because I forgot to tell y'all that's what I added in there also. So now I'm going to be adding the crawfish. And that's like um, two pounds of crawfish. And then I'm also going to be adding my baby scallops. I'm adding this first. And then um, like, I'm gonna let this go for another 10 minutes. And once this is, uh, once I let this go for 10 minutes y'all, cause the crawfish is, is basically already, well the crawfish is actually already cooked. And um, the scallops doesn't take long to cook. So I'm going to let it go for like another 10 minutes on medium high heat. And then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to add my shrimp and I'm going to add my eggs in here. Because I don't want to add the shrimp now because I cooked them earlier. So I don't want them to um, overcook. Yeah, so. Y'all see how good that looks? Y'all, I can't wait to eat this. So yeah, so I'm gonna let that cook for 10 minutes on medium high heat. 
And then I'll get back with y'all whenever it's time for me to add the shrimp and the eggs. Okay, y'all, so this is the final step, y'all. I'm adding the last ingredients in. So I'm adding our shrimp, y'all, that we um cooked down earlier. I waited to the last minute to put them in because I didn't want them to like overcook. The scallops and the crawfish took about another 10 minutes on medium high heat. As y'all can see, like the gravy is actually really thickening up more. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the eggs. This is about, I think this is about six eggs and I just cut them in half. I think six to eight eggs, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and take the big leaf out. And I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing everything in. Y'all see how good this look? We're gonna cook this down for another 10 minutes or so, so we can go ahead on and just let um, the flavors like come together more since we got everything in the pot now. So y'all look how good this look. It's really nice and thick. I love this y'all. This is really good. Instead of this being on medium high heat now, I'm gonna turn it down to like low. And I'm gonna leave it on low real leave it on low for right now and then i'm gonna go ahead on and let this take another about another 10 to 15 minutes on slow so uh, i'm sorry on low just to cook down a little bit and kind of like get those flavors uh together and then once it get done y'all i'm gonna be showing y'all the final touch i'm gonna be showing y'all the final result on how this looks y'all and yeah so i hope y'all enjoy this so i'll be back and show y'all exactly how everything looks once it's done y'all look how good this looks Louisiana style seafood stew, y'all. Y'all. This is so, so good.